everybody and welcome to another Chesapeake Drivecast. I'm actually in the middle of driving right now, so uh, this is a little awkward. Uh, Y'all better be already having your seatbelts on because I am at full many miles or kilometers per hour. I really don't know how to say this right. I mean, I'm in America. Miles per hour is just this, uh, it's just our thing. There's no other way to put it. Also, the, the, hi the sound of the highway is so loud, I can barely even hear my voice. I popped my uh, eardrums just to, not popped it, but you know what I mean, I, I refreshed my eardrums just to make sure I can hear it right, and it still seems this problem hasn't solved itself, but we're not here to talk about that, I'm here to talk about um, something that happened recently that doesn't, that doesn't aggravate me, it just makes me a little, just makes me a little sad that it exists in the first place. So I am a university student, and as a university student, I am required to take small courses on, um, how do I say this, um, I'm, I'm, I am supposed to take courses on very um, specific topics that can get certain people uh, a little aggravated due to the nature of the topic, which is very vague, I know, I get it. Um, you guys all know that you, uh, people should treat each other, you know, the way they should be treated, yada 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 and all that crap. But, um, oh my gosh, everyone is going into this lane. I need to make sure I make it into this lane. Here we go. Anyways, uh, the thing I was blabbering on about, so, everybody knows, everybody should, you know, treat others, whatever golden rule standard. And if you are depressed, then you treat everyone badly, yada, yada, yada. We get all that. Treat others the way you want to be treated. We, we get it. Now, when you start throwing terms like colorism and microaggressions into the air, I just start to wonder why, why I'm even living in this world. That's a little bit of an exaggeration. Um, YouTube, I didn't actually mean it like that. Um, so... As a university student, uh, as the, you know, semester was starting, uh, in, you know, while I'm recording this, I mean, probably by the time this comes out, I've already finished my semester and all that, but nonetheless, I didn't have to take sensitivity training, that's not exactly what it was, but, you know, something similar to that, and I had to, I had to take a bunch of courses on, uh, how people can get offended over the smallest thing, and I've already... I've already covered this topic before, and how like everyone's basically just a snowflake now, and like sure you can throw it as a you can throw it as a term that uh, you can call it a term that uh, conservatives use to justify themselves um, ma making great offenses to minorities, but like they do have a point, a, like, they do have a certain point that people have gotten a little bit soft nowadays. Like the whole the whole reason. Um, kids used to get injured on the playground is because we got to teach them like sometimes things you know we can get hurt and sometimes we got to learn to deal with the hardships in life we gotta we gotta learn to deal with you know the, when something doesn't go our way we gotta figure out how we're gonna make that situation better but you know as certain old people say kids have been coddled these days and uh, you know it's it's kind of everyone's fault like, sure, it's a little bit of the kid's fault for not learning how to become an adult, you know, the, myself included. Um, it's kind of the parents' fault for cuddling their children and thinking that protecting them from everything is going to solve them, uh, is going to prepare them for, you know, future life. Because I have, I have no direction in life anymore because I was always told what to do. And if you're told what to do, then you never exactly have an idea of what to do. I don't know. A little, a little bit of a weird way of putting it, but that's just my perspective. Um, the reason it's gotten a little bit quieter is because, I mean, hopefully quieter, the, the background noise, I mean, is because I've just, uh, I stepped off the highway, I'm just heading home now, as usual. So yeah, the whole idea of the snowflake generation, it's a thing, and look, I, I have my gripes, is that just stuck, no, it's red, okay, um, I, I have my gripes with a lot of things, um, I really don't, I really don't like the whole Gen X versus Boomer versus Gen Z versus, what, what's the, Millennials, I don't even know what these generations are, and apparently according to the US government, uh, the only one that, <clears throat> sorry, the only generation that actually exists is the um, Baby Boomer generation, because that's, 
that has a statistical significance, supposedly. Because, you know, once people start industrializing, a bunch of people are going to be, uh, you know, when, when things are less industrialized, you tend to have more kids. But as you industrialize more, you have less kids. But there's that brief period where uh, things are industrializing, but people still have a lot of kids. And that's where the baby boomers come in. All right. All right. Quick history lesson done. Um, and, you know, demographers, I think that's the term. They like to they like to throw terms around just to uh, you know the Gen Zers the, the the millennials and all that to not necessarily as an official term but just to separate the the different demographics of people like uh, I don't even know if I'm a millennial or a Gen Z just because I pretty much lie in the middle and uh, according to different sources I'm one or the other and the thing is. I kind of fit in both, so I don't really know what to do with it. I mean, as just like everything, it's always a spectrum. You're always going to be a little bit of one, a little bit of the other. It's just like it's just like the minor breaks test. I, I really don't know why it's such a thing. Um, I still think uh, it has some really good valid points, but you know, it's like most personality tests. It's it's meant to exist just to just to put everyone in a box, even though you know theoretically you can't actually put people in boxes. Um, because it's really hard to do that, especially when, uh, personalities are as diverse as they become, as, as they come, sorry. Um, oh, there's really another gas station here? That's pretty cool. Sorry, it just looks like a gas station that's, um, near homes, uh, but, uh, like, on the other side of town. Man, construction's weird. Anyways, Meyer Briggs test. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what I got. Uh, it has changed over the years, uh, unsurprisingly. I've um, I've become a little more extroverted, uh, but I've kind of... So, in junior year, I was just kind of a brash guy. And sure, I'm still brash now, but I've kind of evened out to where I'm, surprisingly, 50% introverted and 50% extroverted. Hey, look at that. It's nice to have a mix of both. Um, they just throw me as extroverted just because of my past history now. And they would consider me slightly more extroverted. Yeah, sure, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Rick Gannon. Um, I don't know. I think becoming a YouTuber kind of just does that to you. And by YouTuber, I mean like genuinely a, trying to become a personality. Every every most YouTube personalities have to be outgoing and outspoken and need to be able to speak well in public. Which you know, this is essentially what what that is. So I can see why uh, the Meyer Briggs website considers me as a as one of those people. Anyways, uh, I don't even remember the other three letters, but. Let's be honest, there are, uh, let's see, intuitive versus thinker, I, this, no, intuitive, uh, judgment? It's like one of them is, um, no, perceiving versus judging, something like that. Yeah, yeah, so one means, uh, you go with your emotions, your gut, and the other one means you go with the facts, you judge the situation, and the problem is, most people, they're going, like, most people are gonna end up doing both, like, a lot of people... Like the whole reason, head over heart, head over head over heart over head, you know what I mean. Uh, stuff like that exists is because we're all conflicted, and our heart says one thing, our head says another thing. So most of us, we are going to be dealing with a lot of emotions. We're going to be dealing with a lot of uh, just just a lot of stuff at once. And in general, we're going to be using both to make our decisions, which kind of makes the whole uh, perceiving versus judging thing kind of null and void. But you know, I like I have nothing again. I have nothing against the personality test. Like personally, I do believe that um, the, the the descriptions they have set for me are pretty true. And uh, like, sure, it's not it's not based on any fact or anything. But it's just that this is the neat activity you can do. I hate the sun. I hate the sun because it's too bright and I can't see my phone. I can't see in front of me and I can't drive properly. That was a w random tangent that I just said because I'm driving and don't you just hate it when the sun's in your eyes? Also, I just realized that might be people that I... Uh, you know what? I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to end this thing.